be? What? Huh. What is this place? Oh, so now you're awake. Hello. Huh? Wait. Huh? Who? Who are you? What do you mean, who am I? Top. It took you like three weeks. What? What do you mean? Where, where am I? Well, oh well, you wouldn't recognize this. This is my house. Okay. Welcome, and all. Kitchen, everything. But, Don't go in the kitchen, wait. it's unfinished. Who are you? Uh, I'm Top. You don't remember? Remember what? A anything. The old world. How we came here. Old world? Huh? Okay, so you have an amnesia. That's great. That's great. Okay, never mind that. Ignore everything. Let's just take a walk. Uh, okay. Uh, Into the beautiful place we have here. Why is your clothes all ripped? Uh, result of a small crash. <laughs> I still haven't got around to changing them, so... Mm. You're, you're one to talk? Uh, oh. Yeah. Well... I almost assume, considering my head hurts... You said something about a crash, that sounds Yeah, awful. you were a part of that. Yeah. Sorry hmm. about that. Oh, okay. Um, is that, oh, where, where are we again? Uh, Castrovalva. Castrovalva. Okay. Huh. It's the whole world around us. Well, this is pretty cool, actually. <laughs> yep, there's Tico's and... place. Yeah, there are other people besides me. Oh, okay. Kiko. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, well, this is pretty cool, actually. And you said yeah, there's more people that's... over here? Yeah, of course. I'm not the only one. There's Tiko over there. Hmm. Tiko. Yeah, does that ring a bell? Hmm. You know what it actually does? I built this thing uh, while listening to Lady Gaga, don't ask. Honestly, my favorite part so far is- That's actually a pretty good quote. It's, um, it's ASMR for me. It's like one of the, one of the only things that are ASMR for me. We have the ASMR bell. Oh, perfect. Oh, thank God. Okay, nice. I, I'm starting to remember some stuff. Okay. Like um, I like sounds. <laughs> sounds are uh, are uh, a huge thing for me. <gasps> like this. The blimp. I remember the blimp. All right, we're getting somewhere. A good start. Okay. Just. Don't stress it, it'll come naturally. <laughs> cool! Alright, so... If I'm here... Do I just... Mm -hmm. Find a place of my own to... Build? And, yeah, and go for it! Settle? Go for it, yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, we can be neighbors if you want, but... Considering me and Tico are about to take over this whole mesa, you'd probably have to go a bit further. Okay. Yeah, um... Is there anything that I should see and kind of maybe tour around the area? You said there's more people around. I mean, I don't really know. I've been here kind of the whole three weeks that we, we've been here, so... Uh, okay. I don't yeah. know. Well, it's a really nice Just place that you got, so... I hope Thank you. I can uh, compete with that. <laughs> oh, you definitely can. I look forward to seeing your builds. All right. Well, I'm going to go off, find a place of my own, and uh, maybe we'll uh, have a build competition later. Oh, definitely. I look forward to it. All right. See you later. All right. See ya.
Welcome back everyone to another episode on the Castro Valva server. This is actually version 8 of this server. I'm super excited for getting things started on the server. This has been actually going on for a couple weeks now. I hope you guys enjoyed the introduction to this video where uh, just some role playing uh, is what we're going to be doing mostly in this series. Uh, a lot of role playing, just so you kind of have an idea of what the story is. Basically, uh, last version we couldn't do some of the things that we wanted to do uh, for the end of last version as we updated, so we ended up deciding on a different route, a different way of doing things, getting the story started. So basically, I have amnesia, I have no idea what the other world was. I, I'm just remembering who Top is. That's kind of the idea of the storyline right now. That's as far as we've gotten. But yeah, this is... I'm super excited, super looking forward to the opportunities and things that are going to happen because of this version, especially because of the new update. Top and I explored around so I could get started after that role play, and we found this clearing, which is really awesome. The forest actually was being burned down, and so we decided to go in and chop down a lot of the wood from the the forest that were being burned down. So we chopped, after it all died down, we decided to chop it all down, clear this out a little bit. So I got some ideas and some plans for that clearing over there. Super excited for the theme that I'm going for this version. There's a lot of new things that I want to try, new things that I want to just experience and kind of grow my expertise in uh, a lot of things about Minecraft that I didn't know I could do. The last couple days I've been spending a lot of time just pillaring up and down in this clearing, just imagining what I would do with this clearing and the clearing over there. Again, the theme that I'm going for, I'm actually going to do a fairy theme, kind of magical theme. Uh, and then this, this clearing, I'm going to do a camp, a settlement that will not be developed into buildings, but just kind of looking more like a temporary setup as if they're just getting started, just getting settled, just moved in. Uh, and over there, is going to be the entrance to the fairy world. But they are protecting this portal here, um, which obviously is my way of getting in and out of the nether. And from here to the spawn area, there really hasn't been much progress here. Just chopping wood. So I have a lot of materials. Something Top wants me to focus on this version, which is something I want to focus on is having a better managed inventory. So just on that hill over there, there's a there's two hills. I want to set up a watchtower slash starter base where I'll put a lot of storage things over there and organize my inventory because obviously this is quite a mess. Without further ado, I'm just gonna let the episode roll by itself. Um, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Let's roll with the wood chopping and <laughs> some shenanigans that happened later build a small fountain here but does it make sense it's in the edge of the town um so like an official brick by brick fountain or kind of a pond uh, with a waterfall whoops where'd that go oh i have it i don't know yet something because, like you said, the it, it, it's kind of in a weird spot, but if it was instead of just a fountain, what if it was a small pond with a little waterfall or something? Yep, that would work. That would work. But there's already a small pond here. Uh, that's a large pond. What if there were two ponds? It's just a small one. Yeah, it could work. <laughs> I don't have very many 
uh, blocks. But just something kind of around here. So we could use, we'll have to terraform this a little bit to look better, but we could use this hill as the material that we use it from, and we just kind of fill this in area. It could be smaller or larger um, than this border, but yeah, that's what yeah, I'm that uh, envisioning in my head. Yeah, that could work. All right. Well, nice. I, I lack materials, by the way. I haven't been on for well, a while. Whose fault is that? <laughs> my fault. Are you just following me? Yeah. I don't know what to do. <laughs> That's why I'm just wandering. I have no idea what to do. <laughs> also, I keep forgetting where this portal is. Ouch. It's quite a big area, this burned out space. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be three diamonds. Um, I owe you, I guess. Ooh, I want that in writing. I want that. I want a physical paper of an I O U. <laughs> you have no papers. Well, how do you make paper again? Oh, sugar cane. Is there sugar, sugar cane, cane yeah. around? Is there a sugar cane nearby? There should be. I mean, there's a swamp. There's bound to be a sugar cane there. Mm hmm Although, let me write it so then it's officially that I am giving you an IOU ticket and you turn it in to me and I have to do something for you later. There's no sugar cane. <laughs> That's so weird. I have, I have one piece of sugar cane. <laughs> Wait, you can plant it and then it'll grow. Ooh. Oh, very, very true, very true. Very, very true. I forget about the simple things sometimes. You can't bone mill sugar cane. No, you can't. But you can you let can't. it grow. Yeah, you can't. <sighs> That's why I said we can wait for it to grow. I or, or what if we go to spawn, plant it there, work on something over there, wait for it to grow, and then make the paper out of it. And you can have your IOU ticket. I think I have <laughs> I have some paper in spawn, so yeah, we probably should go there. <laughs> then. Alright, I'm certain I have paper here. Oh yeah, I watched your episode, I was like, oh. Secrets. <laughs> uh it's not a secret, it's mostly just to keep the view of the cave entrance. <laughs> Oh, ow. Okay, not in those chests. Uh... There's, there's coal. I want the coal. Can't have it. <laughs> oh, look, you got a lot of sugar cane over here.
Wait. There I'm... you go. No. What? What? Oh, there it is. Where's an anvil? <laughs> How did you not see that? <laughs> it was. It went into my bigger inventory. Where's an yeah. anvil? Wait, do I need uh, ex do I need XP for uh, uh, one level? Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't have any levels. <laughs> well, you'd think we're next to a zombie spawner, then, right? Yep, that's what I was thinking. Last version, I wouldn't have thought of that. Hey, wait, where is the button for this? There's literally only one button there that opens that. <laughs> where? Oh, I see it now. Cool. All right. But yeah, my area. Keep off. <laughs> I know. I, I will. I promise that. I have a hoe. <laughs> I'm quite sure that there is a chest up there with like nine or so or eighteen or so iron access. <laughs> Probably. I mean, I need to get rid of this hoe somehow. Use it for farming. <laughs> it's it's nearly gone. All right. Anvil. All right. So, um, just I O U, I guess, right? Yep. Your name. I O U. Wait, what was the I O U for? Why? Uh, all the logs. <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure I have like two or three I O U's from V seven that I never cashed in. But yeah, we'll ignore those. I present to you your I O U ticket. I O U wood chopping. Now I'm going to struggle to remember who it is from, but okay. <laughs> I'll 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 remember it for you. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Plus it's on right. camera too, so <laughs> Oh yeah, true. Very true. And uh, and uh subscribers can uh, the audience can definitely remember that too. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> exactly what I was imagining. I'll uh, just collect the dirt now, because I need materials. Yeah, there's a couple of creeper holes in, in this area that should be patched. Oh, it's fine. Yep, small enough. It's a very yeah, deep pond, which means yep, we can we can totally point. we could totally use it for stuff. Stuff. Yep. <laughs> like okay, small, like lore. hill. Sure, small here hill there with a waterfall coming down to this pond, and that pond continuing to that pond. Should be easy enough. Oh, you want to connect it? Like overflowing. Yeah. <gasps> so this little tiny pond, so there's a waterfall that goes from up here, fills this little pond, but then it overflows just a little bit into this bigger pond. Yep. Oh, that's so cool. I'll probably end up using stone to make a small, like get it up like five blocks or something. Yep, later on. Why, why do it later when you can do it now? Because I have no stone. You... 
There's lots of stone somewhere oh, over I there. There's stone here. There's lots of it. This would be easier if I was in creative mode, though. Well, too bad it was survival server. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to be a, oh, top, help me. <laughs> sounded like that. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't supposed to be. So it starts like from here, right? Basically, I guess. Oh, I forgot about the waterfall thing. Actually, we should probably keep that. Probably get rid of that. We gotta carve where it's going to go. Yeah. Or we could just do that. I think it should be smaller, though, instead of this huge fan of water. Yeah, this is definitely too large. <laughs> cool. So then that helps to figure out what needs to go where. Mm -hmm. Get the basic shape of what, what we want, and then we can fix it up and terraform it to look prettier after. Yeah. Okay, cool. That gives a great idea of what's going on. Oh, it looks so awful. <laughs> so just just the water looks so. Ugh. It needs a lot of work. <laughs> it's better. It's getting there. <laughs> I mean, hmm. Yep. Is this the general shape we want? I mean, I don't know. You tell me. You're the one who doesn't like. <laughs> so there's a, a chunk right here where it's super thick. And then it's a thin block here, but then it goes thick again up there. Thin again, thick, and then thin again. It's just thin, thick, thin, <laughs> thick, thick, thin, thick, thin, thick, thin, thick, thin. Oh, if only we could get... We need water right here. I don't have, I don't have any materials. <laughs> right here. You sure? I'm, I'm positive because then that means we need to extend the source just a little bit out here. Carefully, <laughs> if that makes sense. Like we want it. We want to thicken some spots and but preserve some of the thinner spots. Okay, that looks a whole lot better. It's the wonky dipped down triangular shapes that make it look strange to me. I mean, what do you yeah, what do you think? True. Is that is that yeah, better? Yeah, yeah, I see that. I see that. Yeah, the, the beginning part is nice now, but this is like, eh. all right. Well, that's a start. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! We started something! Yay! <laughs> Yay, we actually did something cool. I'll probably do it. Do you want to work on it, or do you want me to work on it? I mean, either is good. You can work on it, and I can just tweak some things I don't <laughs> like, if I don't like. Okay, I guess vice versa, too. Cool! Ooh, this is exciting! This is really exciting. Yep. We actually so did a collab project! <laughs> Even though it was... Eh, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a start to something. Yeah, it's start. Cool. All right, well, All right. see cool. ya. I'll see you later then. Bye. Bye. All right, well, this was absolutely fantastic. I'm super excited to have been able to collab with Top. That was so, so fun, so amazing. Uh, you guys should definitely check his videos out. Um, I'll have a link in, in the description for his channel, and you guys can subscribe to him, please. We're all friends here on the server, and it would mean a lot to me if you could support him by checking out his videos and giving him uh, further, getting him further in the algorithm of YouTube. It, it looks awful right now. It's super basic, super simple, uh, but I'm super excited. Top wants to have a fountain or a pond or something here, and I said, let's just do it. So 
This is what we've come up with so far. Obviously, it can definitely use <laughs> some extra blocks and materials. So I can't wait. I have so many ideas. Um, I have a practice server, or <laughs> not a practice server. I have a practice world where I use that to practice things like this. So I actually practice doing a pond kind of like this, although this one's a bigger scale than the pond that I did in my practice world. But this, this is phenomenal. I'm excited to expand my knowledge and become a professional and expert in terraforming the land and everything. This is so exciting. Now I'll give you guys a little bit of a tour around the area. We were in Spawn. You guys have probably seen a lot around there. There's not a huge amount of stuff interesting there, but over here is actually our shopping district. We are actually deciding to organize things a little bit more, and this is where the shopping district will be. Go away, skeleton. Top actually started placing this trail down to direct us into the big massive clearing that's perfect for a western town. Can't wait to see what Top has in store in his brain, what he's going to create around here. But this is going to be the general shopping district area. So I'm really, really excited to see this place flourish and this place develop a little bit more. Now we already have some people with ideas of shops that they want to create. Um, Top is doing some, I think, enchanted books or something. And then we have Octavia, who has a shop outside of the shopping district, but she is doing potions. I don't know if she's even going to continue to be with us or not, but as far as I'm aware of right now, she has claimed potions. And I am struggling for ideas of exactly what I could do that would be worth to me to do the grind and put together a shop. So if you guys could put together uh, a list of ideas of things that I could do for my shop, that would be fantastic. Uh, but anyway, this is going to be it for me today. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, and I will see you next time. Bye!